So um, I'm going to prove how the science is biased and has been for a long time and where the problem is in their research on that or their conclusions on this. But just watch. This is 2009. There's so many articles, okay? Alcoholics Anonymous, Effectiveness, Faith Meets Science, okay? So this is the, the, this is the part the science cannot handle because of their own bias, um, because they don't believe in God. And because of that, and because they stick with this, we don't have evidence for God, and they want to ignore, they come up with these papers that I know are not true because I know that Alcoholics Anonymous doesn't take a list of people. It's called anonymous for a reason. I guess that science doesn't like that. So then they, they kind of have to fudge some things. For Forever they've been doing it. This is, I think, 2017 maybe. It doesn't matter. They're always doing this. Is Alcoholics Anonymous religious, spiritual, neither? Findings from 25 years of mechanisms of behavior change research. It's not behavior change. Otherwise, counseling would work. And um, here's the thing that nobody will get in science. I don't care if they're from Harvard or Columbia or what damn university, okay? This isn't about we're motivated to go to Alcoholics Anonymous. No, by the time an alcoholic walks into Alcoholics Anonymous, they just have arrived that they know they'll be dead if they don't. They're desperate. They, every single person that enters Alcoholics Anonymous is desperate. It's the last of the last. You don't want to have to do all that. You don't have to do it. You know, you want the quick fix. You want a pill to fix it. Okay? But look at how ho horrible the, some of these articles are. This is just a little bit. Alcoholics Anonymous is a worldwide recovery mutual help organization. It is mutual help. I mean, you're supposed to get a sponsor to help you with the steps. But the key that never wants, they'd want to address, and I would say it's not even maybe because they're, it's because Without them knowing God, how could they recognize the evidence of God? Something to think about, right? In a, um, let's see, mutual help organization that continues, continues to arouse controversy. In large part, concerns persist because of AA's, AA's ostensibility, quasi-religious and spiritual orientation and emphasis. In 1999, the United States Institute of Medicine called for more studies on AA's effectiveness and its mechanisms of behavior change, stimulating a flurry of federally funded research. So one of the things that, that people, especially the higher educated, like to, to argue is that, well, it's, it's, it's religious. Well, no, it's not. It's spiritually based, for sure, um, even for the agnostic and the atheist. But if you're going to come in with your 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 kicking uh, your hands and feet because oh it's religious or it's not religious it's spiritually based because of that, well then you're not ready to get sober and you maybe just need to continue drinking because the people that end up in in Alcoholics Anonymous are desperate, okay? And that's where you need to be. I've I've explained this before. The science they will not understand this because they do not understand. God, which is why they say there's no evidence for God, because they have never sought him through the right, um, well, microscopes. This is from the big book, a whole chapter on we agnostics, because many come in atheists and agnostics. All we say is to keep your mind open. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to pay anything. Keep your mind open. And if you don't believe in God, we're not going to tell you to believe in God, which is why some of the steps say God and some say higher power, because you can use the group itself as a higher power. I guarantee you for the people that are desperate enough and that stay there and that do as their, um, get a sponsor and work the steps, okay, and put half as much energy into it that they did into drinking, I guarantee you there's a spiritual awakening. That's, that's where the success rate is. So can the people that don't believe in God, the science, who have automatically disregarded God, have no ability because their papers sound, sound stupid when they write about Alcoholics Anonymous? They do. I'm going to show you in a minute. Should, do you think that they are smart enough to come up with the right, to come up with evidence-based conclusions? No. This was 2020. 
and then revisit it on 20. See, they're obsessed with it they're, because they can't wrap their head around it. And the reason they can't is because their scientific mind is so limited. It is. It is. It's a, it's, it's a, Dr. Bob and Bill Wilson said what the condition of the alcoholic is. It's a spiritual malady. Never is that mentioned in any papers. So revisiting 12-step approaches, an evidence-based perspective, this still wasn't an evidence-based perspective because, again, they lean on this, that it's a pure thing. It is to a certain extent. That's not what maintains you. It's not. It's not. It helps with the step, but most of the meetings, especially good meetings, are talking about God in a higher part because the step meetings are the best ones to go to. And the steps that talk about God are three, two, three, and 11. Yes, it is biblic. It's not, it's not um, religious like you have to follow the Bible, but Dr. Bob and Bill Wilson wrote it based upon Sermon on the Mound, which is in the Bible. There is nothing wrong with Sermon on the Mound. So for all of those higher educated fools that carry on that it's religious, no, it's not. It's just that you don't understand God. So for you to try to do research on AA makes you look stupid, which is why your papers that you call evidence look stupid. Look at this ridiculousness, the, the big explanation point. See how much, they just hate it. They hate it because it's God. It is. I mean, it, it, and then it proves the Bible, too. Who did God go to? He went to the biggest sinners. Where do you think the biggest sinners are at? They're in an AA meeting, desperate. Yep, and God shows up. AA is religious. Alcoholics Anonymous is religious in nature. It's not, it's not, but these people do anything because they hate, because these people that write this stuff, and it's your higher educated, refuse to recognize the fact that God does not have to bend to your whims. But what you do is make fools out of yourself. AA is religious. Court cases repeatedly find that Alcoholics Anonymous is religious in nature. As a result, no agent of government may legally require anyone to attend AA. I agree with that, actually. I cannot stand when, if I'm chairing a meeting and somebody has to come because they're mandated by the court. It's the worst thing. It, I mean, it's not that we'll throw you out. It's just they don't, if they don't want to be there, they're not going to get any help. So, And many times we have to sign off on that record. Um, but you just kind of hope that maybe something will get through. Uh, but no, it shouldn't be mandated. However, that said, the science needs to stop trying to research something that they don't even want to acknowledge because they're never going to have a paper that is honest or fair about Alcoholics Anonymous because they themselves don't know the evidence of God. See this stuff, they go out of their way, the Atlantic, the surprising failures of 12 steps. How a pseudoscientific religious organization birthed the most trusted method of addiction treatment. No, the, it's so factually wrong in every way. It is. Yes, they want to base much of the research says, well, there was a relapse. Many times there is a relapse. But people that remember what they were like before, they'll end up back at AA. They don't usually stay. But yes, early on, especially the younger you are, you tend to have a relapse. It doesn't mean it has to be that way. Um, but yes, it, it does not mean it doesn't work. Uh, Alcoholics Anonymous, most effective path to alcohol abstinence, a Stanford research researcher and two collaborators conducted an extensive review of Al and, uh, Alcoholics Anonymous studies and found that the fellowship helps more people achieve sobriety than therapy. So they keep referring, returning to the fellowship, okay? And I'm not saying the fellowship is not, but that isn't what does it. And because the science doesn't believe in God and they're taught at universities that have what? Secret societies uh, like Skull and Bones and very dark secret societies, well, you know the universities themselves don't even understand God. So how can you possibly science or PubMed or Harvard or any of you people that rip on AA think that you have any authority to talk about it when you don't even understand what takes place. You have to at least believe in God to understand it. You don't. <laughs>